Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick review of the Opera Next browser, um, version 12, which has come out in the last few weeks. And then after hopefully I've gone through a few of the new features, I'll compare it with Google Chrome, the beta version, which is Google Chrome 14. So if we just open it, you can see how fast it opens compared to some of my other videos, which compare Firefox and Chrome opening, the opening speeds of them. Now that is pretty fast. I'd probably say it's a bit slower than Chrome, but faster than Firefox. And this is the next version of Opera, which is basically the alpha build of it. So to be honest, it doesn't really have any brand new features paired with a stable version of Opera. However, the one of the I know it's not actually brand new. Obviously, like with Firefox, you now get the main part of the URL. In this case, YouTube actually highlighted. It's quite difficult to see, but the www bit and the watch are actually slightly greyer, and it's kind of cool. I know. Opera has had uh, mouse gestures for quite a while now, but this is the first time I've seen if you hold down the right mouse button, you've actually got a visual indication of how to do it. So I'm holding down the right button of my mouse. If I press it to the left, go back, rewind, and let go of it, it goes back again. And if I press right, open new tab, close tab, then it closes to the um, home page, which does look extremely similar to the Canary build. I'm not sure which one had it first, uh, it's probably Opera. So yeah, that's basically the main feature of Opera Next over its previous ones. They're saying that um, in the future when they get a bit closer to releasing this, they will probably um, add new features. Um, they've also fixed quite a few bugs and stuff in Opera Next, so that's good. So if we compare Opera Next with Google Chrome 14 Beta, open them both and put them side by side. Someone told me before, because I was faffing around with trying to get them the same size that you can just move it to the right and snap them to the screen. I don't know who it was, I forgot who it was, but thank you, I didn't realise you could do that. <laughs> I haven't, really had Windows 7 for, haven't had Windows 7 for a, um, only a while now, so I didn't realise that was, that was a feature of it. But it's a really cool feature. You can see I've got rid of, I've signed out of everything, got rid of all the cache and stuff like that using C Cleaner. So hopefully it should be quite a uh, fair battle. So if we, if we start on both of them with Google, so if we do, do YouTube first, YouTube, YouTube.com, um, now I'll press the Opera one first and then try and do Chrome straight away afterwards. That was definitely Opera. I know I clicked on Opera first but it loaded quite a lot faster, that's good. Opera won that one. If we do BBC. I'll do Chrome first. That, I think that was actually Opera again, so it's one, two out of two. Amazon. I'm quite full. I'll do um, Chrome first again. Again, that was Opera, so that was a really quick review of Opera Next. I know obviously I've only done three websites and they're pretty anecdotal, but it won all three, so hopefully that isn't just a, an error. I think Opera is actually probably faster than Chrome on most things. I know some people are saying that if it's got a bit of Java going on, um, it might be slower, but on most of the websites I go on, like a few news websites and YouTube and Facebook and stuff, it seems to be quite a lot quicker. So yeah, that's it. Rate and subscribe, and I'll have a few more of these videos up next time. I thought I'd just add the um, HTML5 test scores. Um, Chrome, as you remember from last time I reviewed Google Chrome, got 341 and 13 bonus points. Oprah got 301 and 7 bonus points. So not as high as Chrome, and it's also beaten by Firefox, which got 309 plus 9 bonus points. But it's still, you know, not that far off, and it shows that there, um, Opera is actually, um, you know, catching up to its rivals. I think in the past it actually got quite low scores. So that's another bonus, really.